Uh, uh, we're almost there. 3D's just got a little sliver left. Then we'll do the game engine, and then we'll probably finish up uh, Penblend's OS 2, and then we'll pump out a quick game. Hopefully somewhat quick, at least. I don't know. Should be okay. We're a pretty balanced team for it. There you go. Promote it. It's in delay. Beta. Bug fixing. Shouldn't be that many bugs. We did SCM it. Release. Yes. Of course. That's like top's priority. I'm not getting those messages about people being tired now, so... I guess 9 hour shifts. <sighs> Although 10 hours was working, we only ever had one person complain about being tired just like every once in a while. And it should be pretty much groundbreaking. It's just simply surprised. Okay, fine. Whatever. Never did look at research for this year either. Shadows for Game Engine. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Our game engine isn't tops. Yeah, well, it should still be plenty okay. Um, in fact, I think... I think we made a really good amount there. 31,000 active users, yeah. Yeah, because the fact that we actually, I think, gained millions when it, keep in mind, sells for dirt cheap, 20 bucks. Okay, we didn't make millions, okay. I <laughs> just never know how much money we have, clearly. Hmm. Well, it's already profited, so. Woot. Man Trap Monday. Marketing that stuff, man? I don't market it. I got a new best bud. It's fine. Although I probably should just look at Man Trap Monday. Well, they're probably really expensive now. I'm sorry, I've moved on. We're, uh, we're best buds with somebody else now. With Shine Garden. I keep forgetting their name. I know I know their name. I know their name. Shine Garden. And release. There you go. Hopefully it works out for you guys. It is 100% outstanding. So as long as you put in decent features, you should do just fine. And server is up to 57% load. Yeti Depp is being zero. Ben, because I don't know, I don't know what to do with it. Because there's no physical store on it, so it's like, hmm. Now let's bring it to, let's bring it to 20, 21%, reopen it, and just ignore it. Out of sight, out of mind. Maybe I just need to wait a really long time for it, who knows. And yep, we're okay to do the game now, so let's develop software. Need a game name. What game will it be? I'd like it to be an RPG, that'd be cool. Or a sports game with an open world. An MMO sports game in an open world. It's the best sports game ever. <laughs> Real time strategy, first person shooter sports. You know what? We are playing a simulation game. Let's go for a sim. On ice sheet. Hell yeah. The simulation game's got physics. And it's an MMO. <laughs> sure. Let's take an MMO under our wing. An MMO simulation. Actually, that might be actually pretty okay. You're going against other people. Like, real people. Man. Man! We'll try it. What are we, uh, what are we calling it? One. No, I don't really want to call it one. Although that does sound like one of those really edgy names. Snowball 2. 3D editor will be, I guess, tri -suite. It's mediocre though. Right bastard just pumped it out just to get something out there. 
FX Studio 2 does everything we need it to, and it's great quality. Probably the best audio tool that's ever been made, ever, in the history of time. You know what? Fuck it. One. It's one of those edgy titles. Why not? People would be like, one? What's, oh, what's one? Oh, do you play one? Oh. Yeah, man. That MMO sim. I always thought $40 was an okay price for like a AAA title. I, I, I think we could call ourselves AAA. People know us. They don't recognize us, but they know us. Hmm. Three years though. Ugh. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. Hell yeah, we'll market it. You kidding me? Um, that should be okay, because that's the thing when it fills up, it's done. So we got plenty of time to make that um, happen. And we'll probably just make one like probably just good quality, because otherwise it will take forever to do. So we'll see. We'll see how fast it actually goes. And can we even get any of the marketing done? Ice sheets done, snowballs done. Yeah, getting a little bit of it every day. Okay. Shine Garden one product. There's Sick Street Studios now. They came out last month, as well as Stick Limited. Has anybody gone bankrupt yet? No. Nope. They're just making more companies, which is fine. I like that it does that. Even if you buy out everybody, there will be more companies that come up, but they always come in with just like zero fans nowhere, so you could really easily just buy them out real quick if you need to. If you like really want to be the only company on the market, which can be fun for a little while. The Pen Blinds OS though. Oh yeah, 37,720 units sold. They made just under 4 million with it. And looks like... Something came out for it. Oh, of course, it's the fucking antivirus. God damn it. <laughs> it's always antivirus. There's so many, uh, Man Charles Inc. Treat like. There's so many companies out there that are just making pure antiviruses and just lunging toward every operating system that comes out. Bastards. I assume this is. No, not all operating systems. Not even mine. Wow. Fine. Well, that's cool. Good for them. So if I were to buy that, three million. Mm. Eh. Um, I wonder how that affect them since we're doing or they're doing pen blinds OS two. I don't know. In any case, stock. Beta clap. Beta clap. They don't own shit. Don't lie to me. So, uh, 1,952% change. That's pretty damn good. On our shares of stock here, we're profiting, uh, seven times at the least. <laughs> and the longer we wait, presumably the better they'll do. Companies don't release flops as often as I'd like to imagine they would, but... Hmm. Oh well. More money for me, I suppose. And I assume stab where your stock's just gonna be like just absolute bullshit. Yeah, 16 million. Shine Blade Productions owns all the stocks there. That'll be Krug. So go on vacation on January. Not sure what's going on with that. But in any case, new year. So uh Select all the furniture. Upgrade all the furniture. A, a few of them didn't upgrade. Something's in the way, I assume. Uh. Just unselect the things here. It's doing that weird highlighting thing where I did the room selection and it never unselects them. So, we'll just, uh. So, interesting note. Uh, it's a bit dark in there because I had to, I loaded my autosave, which was like just at the start of January, so nothing really lost there. 
but it looks like the light slash ventilation things they weren't actually in the way but when it comes to upgrading it seems to be well these are a little bit larger so it may have they may have actually been in the way but I ended up removing them and upgrading them but I do know for certain these the way they're thrown together like that they can't normally do that and I tried to make it happen but there's just no way so it seems like the only way to get them really nice and tight together like that I mean that's just our standard tiles there and if I go like really half grid size and go for it it still it still don't want it there's always just that little bit of gap there and they don't they don't link together like that there's an option for it either so I've just been I loaded my save and I've just been upgrading it with the room empty and we'll replace all the lights and all that stuff afterwards Trying to expand these rooms a bit so I can get some more ventilation in there without having to worry too, too much about, um, you know, space constraints and stuff like that in the future. But the issue that I'm running into is these walls, when I expanded it just a second ago to make this wall bigger, I had the grid anchored a slightly different way. There you go, you select that. I had the grid anchored a slightly different way. So if I tried to simply go, oh yeah, build from, uh, as you can see here, up just by the ho the highlight, I mean, I'm way off over here. So when I try to expand this, if I decide to do that, it does this weird crooked thing because it tries to, uh, rather than just rounding it and making it flush. I kind of wish there is a button I could hold that would auto anchor the grid in such a way to make it flush so it doesn't do this weird diagonal thing. Uh, it would be certainly a, a lot more convenient because this is... It's awkward because it's like, okay, I'm anchored on this side, so, you know, we'll do what we can here. Three out, that's fine. And then, okay, let's move the anchor, shift it over ever so slightly. There we go. And then, ta-da. And then merge these guys together and merge it with this main room. It can be done. It's a bit awkward, though. Uh, are you guys slightly off? No, no, you were right. Okay. There, it's not perfectly centered. I'd have to uh, have it another one, but bleh. So there we are. Our server is still server 20. Everything is pretty massive. We have it's cut off a little bit there, but we have over 104. Well, we have exactly 104 gigabit per second now of, of space. So we're using 0% of that. So, uh... Should be okay for a little while. All right, I still got that guy in the middle there. Just delete that, it's fine. We got the guys along the sides. That's still nice and clean. I like it. And actually, let's uh, change our room material. Just a nice that, and then room color. The floor, let's make this more of a gray floor there. There we go. And the interior walls. There. Hmm, a little more yellow actually. There we go. That'll be alright. That looks about right. That's, I think that's pretty close to the sort of professional flooring that you'll find. What, what is that stuff called? You put it down like a paste and it eventually hardens into like a really hard rubber. I want to say epoxy, but I don't think that's right. No. In any case, that's the style I was going for. It doesn't have the, the sparkly bits in it, but oh well. <laughs> They'll deal with it. Nobody ever goes down there anyway. Lost a little bit of reputation at some point in time, probably because the support was sort of on hold for a month while everybody was on vacation. When we eventually split up and do multiple multiple buildings. I will be doing the multiple team thing, so we have a day people, night people, and then like, I guess, overnight people. So we have three teams, so projects are constantly being worked on. Eventually we'll do that, and their vacations will differ. So I don't have to worry about us being in complete standstill for a little while. 300 million dollars? Jesus Christ. We're making two million from royalties and deals alone. Zaras. Okay. <laughs> bills. 600,000 in bills. Yeah, that's gonna skyrocket because of what I've just done here. 
still uh, still only 640,000. The bills didn't actually go up much even though we scaled up these servers to something much higher. I guess they're, they are more efficient and then added a lot of industrial ventilation. Hmm. 85 decibels in there. Good God. Yeah, that's loud. That's quite loud. Oh right, and computers. These can be upgraded too, can't they? Yeah, they can. To modern computer. Okay, so let's see what that's all about. Hold on. How did I forget about these? Way more powerful than a laptop. But the laptop is a little bit weaker than 90s computer. Oh god, that's still a massive increase. Jesus, okay. There we go. Is that all of them? I think I got all of them. We're looking... No. We're looking good and modern right now. Okay. That should greatly improve productivity. That is a massive, massive increase. And then profits back up a bit because that is taking into account the construction cost. Right? Otherwise, not much change there. Okay. Well, steady profits though. So that's nice. Our marketing is having a hell of a time getting anything done. They're able to do uh, Snowball 3 and Ice Sheet, like, just by the end of the day. And a little bit of focus on one, but not a whole lot. <laughs> it's getting there. And for one, I think I said I was going to make it good. I think I'll make it great. It's actually going pretty quickly, especially with our new computers, that I think I can afford to make it, uh, make it great. Start by company, look for our guys. Nah, they're not there. No, nothing for Shine Garden yet. Wonder what they're up to. They're probably working on finishing up their, uh, their next, their next whatever. Worm Stopper 18. God damn. We've already made eight. They're just pumping them out. Ugh, it's disgusting. Shine Garden Pen Blinds OS 2. December of this year. Aha. Okay, cool. I got it. And you guys don't need help with that at all? Like marketing or anything? I mean... Okay. There we are. It's great. And develop it. Well, marketing's actually doing a pretty good job now with those two, so I think I will go back to uh, all software, Lorem Ipsum. Snowball 2, I believe is... We never did a Snowball 3, yeah. Let's check details, yeah, still... Still around. Um, my releases. Snowball 2. I thought, yeah, there you are. Mark it. Mark it everywhere. Keep doing that. You guys got it. Just to, just to keep it fresh in people's minds. I'd hate for it to just drop off the face of the planet so nobody ever, like, hears of one or buys one or any of that. It being an MMO, it should be a pretty successful thing. I can't imagine it being just a complete flop. It is great after all. And still nothing for Shine Garden. Man, I'll help. Let me help you. 